Welcome to HWMS to Martin and welcome to our YouTube channel. As you can see behind me, we've got this gorgeous blue V12 Vantage Roadster, one of 254 made, and there was also 333 coupes. This vehicle is available with us on the Timeless program. We'll run you through some of that side of the car, but what I also wanted to do was take you through some of the technical and engineering highlights of V12 Vantage. A lot of people might see these cars in the marketplace and not really have a great understanding of what goes into making a car like this. But hopefully over the next sort of few minutes, I can give you a, a bit of an idea of the differences between this and a regular Vantage. So this particular car has covered just under 200 miles and was registered last year. And as you can see, is finished in a stunning shade of blue. The overall spec of this particular vehicle is really subtle. It's got a few options, nicely done, well put together. Um, if you are looking for something that is not so um, over the top with wings and louvers and all that sort of thing everywhere, but if you want something that's just a bit under the radar, but you know what you've got in the front here with your 700 PS V12. So we'll take you through the side view of the vehicle. As you can probably see, compared to original Vantage, V12 Vantage has a really, really wide stance. Now it was a bit wider than a regular V8 Vantage, and you also had, as you can probably see here, forged rims were standard. There was a few different choices that you could have on the rim. This particular car has the Y-spoke rim with the diamond turn face, and behind there you can see we have carbon ceramic discs. A few things that a lot of people probably don't really know, what elements, particularly when you're producing 333 coupes or 254 roasters to tool up for the differences in the body styling but also you know the engineering that goes underneath the car the bit that you can't really see is really really costly so v12 vantage had a carbon fiber one piece bonnet with the horseshoe uh, air vent on the front there we also had a carbon fiber front bumper carbon fiber front splitter these elements on the wings here and also down the seal there, that is in carbon fiber. Albeit on this particular car, it's finished in gloss black, but the actual material that is made out of is carbon fiber. Moving you around to the back of the car, the rear boot lid or deck lid on this particular vehicle, these were a composite material. So they were a lightweight material to try and reduce some of that weight out of V12 Vantage, as well as your rear bumper, that was a composite material. And then your big rear splitter and diffuser that you have on the back, which we'll show you shortly, that would have been all carbon fiber as well. Again, as I say, this particular car, it is in gloss black. So a slightly st subtle stance to this vehicle. And being a roadster, we still have that super quick seven second roof on here. And on this particular car, it's finished in black. Moving you around to the back of the vehicle. This particular car, again, as I was saying, it's been styled very subtly. So we have the red rear lights. You could have silver rear lights in this particular vehicle, but this one has got red. And we also then have the, the double finish chrome finished exhaust system on this car. This particular car does have a full Quicksilver exhaust system on the vehicle as well. So moving you down the passenger side of this particular vehicle, let's talk about structural rigidity. Aston put a lot of time and effort into V12 Vantage from a structural point of view, stiffness point of view. So we have bracing in the boot, we have extra bracing under the bonnet, and also a lot more supportive front subframe that carries the engine, and then moving you down the underneath of the car as well, there was some structural support down there. So really, really enhance that driver experience and stiffen the platform. To try and aid with that stiffness, we have a very, very trick rear suspension on V12 Vantage. Now, whether that was a coupe or a roadster, we run a rear spring suspension on the back with a tender spring. Now that is used for cushioning your ride or giving you a lot more comfort whilst you're on those sort of low speed tours. But when you wind that suspension button up, these have a really, really stiff and firm ride. Also in the back of the car to save weight, we also have the same battery that we have in DBS Ultimate. 
Yeah, so it is the 70 amp hour battery. It's a lightweight battery and that saved some weight into the vehicle. So not only have we got on the panels on the car here, we also have a lightweight battery in the vehicle. Between the rear wheels, we have a eight speed ZF Auto. That was a different auto gearbox that you would get in Vantage. It was slightly reconfigured for carrying the V12 engine and also taking that torque, of which we have 753 newton meters of torque. As you can probably see, as, as I say, from the side of this car, this particular vehicle has the chrome window surround. I think it's a really, really pretty colorway, really subtle. So if you are looking for something that is a little bit under the radar and you want to get yourself into a V12 Vantage, this would be ideal for you. As regards um, aerodynamics on the car, so we had massively improved aerodynamics over the V8 Vantage. So not just with the heat absorption out of the bonnet here with this horseshoe um, vent, we also had a much bigger front grille and we also had some brake cooling in the side of the bumper here. So overall, what you've got to sort of look at with the V12 Vantage is it is a Vantage. Yes, it is on steroids. Yes, it has a big engine, but it's everything else that goes into this car engineering wise. So, you know, when you're starting to look at value for money, these are incredible value for money. So to the inside of this V12 Vantage, so we have the Sports Plus interior. So without the, you had the choice of having some carbon fiber seats. This particular car has the Sports Plus seats that we have seen in Vantage over the years, stitched and laid out in a slightly different fashion to what we're used to. We have this gorgeous V-shaped quilting on the seat with the perforation. This particular car has the heated seats. So this would give you everything that you get on a Vantage uh, with some slight differences to the way that they are styled on the interior. There isn't a great deal of difference between this and a, and a regular Vantage as regards the interior. Just some subtle touches, as I say, with the seats. You also get this beautiful V12 gnarled aluminium center dash pod here. And then you have your bespoke uh, aluminium tread plate with your number of your vehicle on the plaque here. So this one being number 87 of 254. If you want further details on this car, do give us a call here at the showroom or you can visit hwmastinmartin.co.uk.